Welcome to a Wolf Garage Review. I am your happy host, Ryan Wolf. So, today we'll be reviewing the Central Machinery Portable Pipe Threader, item number 62203. It will handle pipes from half inch to one and a quarter inch. I uh, played around with this a little bit yesterday. It comes with a pipe clamp, which is interesting in itself. Uh, the overall construction of the pipe clamp seems pretty solid. Seems like it'll hold up. Uh, the handle is a uh, rubberized handle. I imagine if it's out in the environment, it'll over time deteriorate or get kind of crappy. The dies themselves don't seem too bad. Uh, I know the reviews online for this will leave a couple people a little sketchy uh, as whether or not they should go ahead and uh, order this or buy this. I paid 150 bucks or something like that uh, with the 20% off coupon. Listen guys, you should know this. Lube goes a long way and you only need a little bit here and there but in this case you never have enough. So uh, I have this plugged in. Again, the only safety issue that I have with this is if you use it without, I'm going to find out here in a second, if you use it without the uh, pipe clamp that they uh, provide you with, this safety switch will get held up and, and it'll, it'll, it'll basically, it'll start pushing up and once the pressure is applied to the, to the, uh, the handle here, um, you will get it will get stuck. You won't be able to go ahead and unlock the uh, the unit. Okay. Let me just squirt a little oil in here. Uh, it is a heavy item. I didn't, I didn't weigh it. If I had to guess, it's probably about ten pounds, five ten pounds somewhere in there. Uh, again, lube doesn't matter what kind of lube you're using here as long as you squirt a little bit in there. And uh, you know, keep your keep your dye lubed. I have a pan underneath here. Uh, I cut two pipes with it yesterday, uh, and it seemed to work pretty well. I'm, I'm going to try to do this without the assistance of someone else. That I had manual one. Uh, the die uh, I was no longer able to adjust the die. One of the screws stripped out of it. Lost my grip here, hang on. Now that I got it back set up here, let's uh, try to keep going forward with this. No, no. It's not gonna be.
So overall, you know, once you get the clamp figured out, the threads will cut fairly easily. And I know some of these guys, sorry about the camera job here. Some of these guys on the uh, the reviews here have stated that the threads are, you know, it doesn't cut well or whatever. Um, I, I think it cuts pretty well. Uh, you know, a little cleaning out, it cuts the threads pretty well. Um, I use the uh, the Evolution Chop Saw to cut the pipe itself, and I'm using this for uh, gas installation. Uh, I think it cuts well for 150 bucks. Uh, come on, of course it's not going to focus in on what I want to show you. This is just one of the shreds from. The actual cutting of the threads, and I, I would, you know, dripping it over, over the top of the purchasing uh, this guy. Now, if I can get the pipe run, there we go. Um, you know, I'm sure I could figure out a better setup for the the pipe itself. And the manual it shows you to use a. Uh, pipe vise. You know, I'm not gonna go out and spend another 180 bucks on a pipe vise. Lowe's sells a pretty nice pipe vise, but um, this will do the trick, and, and hopefully that won't discourage someone else from actually purchasing uh, the pipe threader that Harbor Freight sells. Yeah. Of course, if uh, the camera would decide to focus in, that would be great. There we go. A little cleanup, and uh, this is this is uh, what the what I was sent. I guess you know, right from the supply yard, and this is what was cut. Come on. Yep, great camera. Glad I spent that much money on a camera. Chinese uh, pipe threader works better than the camera. Yep. Stupid thing.